Hello, my name is Lou DeVentura and I am a flight instructor located at the Woodbine Airport in Woodbine, New Jersey. I'm talking to you today about uh, the use of the E6B9 computer to figure out fuel consumption and speed distance time problems. I had a uh, student yesterday, he's halfway through his private pilot uh, course, and I wanted to have a ground lesson on how to use uh, the E6B9 computer. Uh, I did a little bit of research and I found out that the E6B9 computer was developed by a naval lieutenant from the US Navy. Uh, his name was Philip Dalton. He was born in 1903 and he died in 1941. And he developed this uh, computer, manual computer, in the late 1930s uh, for the naval program of the United States Navy. Um, just to give you a little um, way this works, um, if you look at it real close, let me get my pen here. Um, you have a rotating dial here. You have on the outside, you have um, depictions of gallons or liters. On the inside wheel here, let me rotate it back for you, you have hours, minutes, plus you have seconds also okay and you also have speed or gallons per hour uh, indicator all right so um, I have here uh, the sheet that I gave my student yesterday to figure out uh, the problems here and uh, let's see if we could do these over again we'll do a few of them uh, just to give you an idea of how uh, to use the E6 B9 computer all right. All right. So for the first one here, we have uh, 13 gallons an hour. The question is 13 gallons an hour. Uh, we flew for one hour and 30 minutes. How many gallons did the plane use? All right. So we take uh, the gallons per hour and we rotate it to one three. Okay. We got one three there. Uh, our time uh, we flew for one hour and 30 minutes. So we look at the dial inside dial here for hours. We have one hour and 10, one hour 20, one hour and 30. Take your imaginary line up in here, and we're right directly between 19 and 20, so we used 19 and a half gallons uh, for that flight. Um, let's try this one here. Nine gallons an hour the plane is using. We don't know the time, but we know we used 22 gallons. So we got uh, nine gallons an hour. Alrighty, so nine gallons an hour, and we flew, we don't know, 22 gallons, we got this on nine, take away that zero, make that a nine, and we flew, oh, not, not flew, but we used 22 gallons, so here's your 22, and you bring that imaginary line down here, and we have two hours, we have two hours and ten, two hours and twenty, and two hours and thirty. So your 22 depicts it to about 2 hours and 26 minutes um, for the answer for that problem there. All right, so we did a gallons. We did a time. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's do another one. I have here <clears throat> I trick one uh, that I gave my student. He did very well on it. Um, 35 gallons an hour. We flew for three hour and ten minutes. How many gallons did we use? Okay, so 35. Let's, say, let's find 35. And uh, we got over here 35 gallons. All right, so we have 35 gallons, three hours and ten minutes. I have the hour mark here. We got three hours, three hours and ten, twenty and thirty. And the question was three hours and twenty. And I'm sorry, ten minutes. So we got three hours and ten minutes right here. Bring our imaginary line up here, and we get eleven. Hmm, eleven. That doesn't sound right, but it is actually is right. We just have to add a zero to this. That's the only problem with this calculator is you have to take away zeros or add zeros to this in order for it to work properly. Um, but if you were taking the FA test and you did see this question, thirty-five gallons an hour at three hours and ten minutes, you know it has to be well over uh, hundred gallons. So if you got an answer as 11, uh, you'd know you uh, have to either add a zero to that to make it uh, the correct answer. All right, so we did uh, gallons, we did time, and let's see. 
let's throw another one in there. Let's say, um, um, 21 gallons at 2 hours and 30 minutes. So, 21 gallons at 2 hours and 30 minutes. Let's see, 21 gallons at 2 hours and 30 minutes. And we're looking for gallons per hour. So we got two hours and 30 minutes. Let's make sure I got right here. Two hours, we got 21 gallons, two hours and 30 minutes. And we should read it to be, uh, let's see, eight gallons an hour. That's 85. So about 8.4, let's say two, four, that's two four six eight gallons eight point eight gallons an hour that answer should be that's a five I'm sorry eight point four that would be eight five right there so it's eight eight point four gallons an hour for that answer there uh, all right so let's try doing a speed distance and time problem. Alright, so plane is going 150 knots, <clears throat> 36 minutes. What is our distance? So again, we'll rotate this to the miles per hour or knots. And we got 150, 36 minutes. Okay, so here's your 36, or 35 rather. And these are the second hands, so you got 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, so 36, and we went 90 miles. Here's your mileage. So for 150 at 36 minutes, our distance would be 90 miles. Okay, let's try a time uh, problem here. 180 on the speed. 180 on the speed. All right, um, 330 miles on the distance. So we rotate to 330 on the distance. So we got, uh, let's put it here so you can see better here. So we got 330 on the distance. We got 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 330 again. So 10, 20, and 30. So it looks like our answer would be 1 hour and 50 minutes. I'll get this better view on the camera for you. So again, we got 30, we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and our, our question was 330 miles. So 10, 20, and 30. Bring that imaginary line down to 150. All right, so that's our time for 150. Uh, let's see, we did a distance, time, and speed. Uh, let's throw one more in there. Um, let's see. Um, we went 200 miles and it took us two hours. What was our speed? So we did distance 200. So let's look for 200 and we know our time was two hours. So it's for days just two hours. So we got 200, two hours. All right, so we got 200, so you have to add a zero here. This is, your two, this is your two hours. This is your speed. Two hours at 200 knots. I'm sorry, this is the, your time. It is your two hours. This is your, your distance. It is going to be uh, 200 miles. And then we'll read how fast we were going. So it shows here that our speed was 100 uh, knots. Okay? Alright, so hopefully this will give you a little uh, idea of how to use this E6B9 computer. Very, very uh, good little tool. Um, next lesson uh, that I'll do a video on will be how to use this to solve for ground speed, wind correction, and headings. Alright, uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any comments or questions, please uh, 
leave it so in the video and if there's any errors uh, please uh, remark that that also all right I do appreciate it thank you for watching bye